hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install kali linux on your android device now this is really easy as long as you follow these steps kali linux is designed for pen testing and ethical hacking now the requirement is you should have at least 8 gig of free storage on your device note you can only install on your internal storage and not an external sd card your phone should be at least 4 gig of ram so it doesn't lag and slow down your phone take it like this you're installing a brand new operating system on your smartphone so it's really heavy now I'm currently using a Redmi Note 8 Pro with 6 gig of RAM and over 60 gig of storage available on this device. Now follow these steps closely. First, we have to download Temox over here and NetHunter KX. Now we can get Temox from GitHub. The link will be provided in the video description. Now some of you may ask why we are not downloading Temox from Google Play Store. You can see Temox on Google Play Store is very outdated. The last time it was updated is 2020 September and we are in 2022 lots of these packages have changed and it won't work so we have to download the latest version of Temox from github so you can see Temox over here Temox app version 0.118 and it was updated january 07 2022 so download it i already have it downloaded in my device and also download the nethunter app store so you can see over here download store app now take note, the link to all these will be provided in the video description. Now after downloading, install your NetHunter store. And then from NetHunter store, this is where we are going to download NetHunter Kex. So you can just scroll down or you can just search as well. So let's just search for Kex, K-E-X. And you can see over here NetHunter Kex over here, click on it. And then install, I already have it installed on my device. So you can see on my device, NetHunter Kex, Temox, and NetHunter Store. Now I can delete NetHunter Store since I no longer need it. So head to Google Play Store and then search for 1DM. So 1DM is actually a download manager where you can pause and then resume your download. So let's install this. Secondly, install files from Google Play Store. So you search for files. Now there are lots of files over here. The third one over here, files, this is the one we are installing. You can see Mac apps and softwares. Click on it. I've already installed it, so you just have to install it. So you can see we now have Temox, NetHunterX, 1DM, and File Explorer, which is called Files. So now we have to download the image file, and to do that, open the 1DM. And then once you open 1DM, click on this browser icon up here. Let's cancel this. And then paste in the address. Now this link is provided in the description of this video. And you can also get it from our Discord server. The link will be provided in the description of this video. Now let's hit enter. And you select the folder you want to download this file. So you can just create a new folder if you want. And then use the folder, allow, start. And you can see our download has been initiated. Now the good thing about this is that you can pause it whenever you want and you can also resume it anytime. So even if your network is not stable, you won't have any issue because of this download manager you are using. Now I already have it downloaded so let me cancel it. This may take some time to download so you can wait. Now let me open my files and then locate the file I already downloaded. So I'll open my files and then locate the folder. So you can see this is the Kali Linux file I already downloaded, 1.75 gig. So I'm going to copy it copy to now click on this three dot over here tab and then you can see temox over here now this is the reason why we are using files instead of our normal file manager because if you're using your normal file manager you would get this option so let's click on temox and then paste in the file we just downloaded by clicking on this copy over here it will take some time and your file will be copied so you can see it's currently copying Okay, so our file has now been copied to this Temox directory and you can see this is our file over here. Now we can continue with the installation. So let's go back to our Temox. Now we have to install wget and that is what we are going to use to install Kali Linux. So type in the command install wget pkg install wget and then hit enter. Now pkg stands for the package. So let's go with Y, yes, and then hit enter. Okay, so wget has been installed. Now to clear a screen on Temox, type in clear. And then hit enter and it would wipe off everything. 
Now we have to download the bash script which we are going to use to execute our Kali Linux file we downloaded. So type in this command. And then enter the address HTTPS of S dot EC slash two MCE ZWR and then hit enter. So you can see it has now been completed. Now let's type in ls to check the files in that directory. And then you can see two files currently in this directory. Now we have to move over to this file over here, install NetHunter Temux. So I will just copy the name over there and then enter this command ch mode plus x and then paste in the directory. I will just put it on the screen so you can see it. You can actually type it. Now, once we hit enter, it is now going to move to this directory. So if you type in ls and then hit enter, you can see that it is now green. Now type in the next command and it's going to locate our file so we can begin the installation. So you just have to type in the command dot slash and then hit enter. So you can see it is now verifying the image file we have. So it is going to check if we have an existing image file. If we do, then it's going to install from there. But if we don't, then we have to download it from scratch. So you can see over here, existing image file found, delete and download a new one. We don't want to do that. So we go with N, which is no, and then hit enter. And it will start extracting the file and then start running the installation. Now this will take some time so you can grab a cup of coffee while you're waiting. So you can see it has now been installed successfully. Now we have to set up the Kex password and that is what we are going to use to log in. So type in the command and then hit enter. And then type in your password. So let me just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Verify password. Hit enter. Would you like to enter a view only password? Let me just go with no so I can see the password. Okay, so we have successfully set up the password. Now we can successfully access our Kali Linux machine. Now to launch Kali, type in the command kex and kex and you can see the symbol over there. Hit enter. Now you can close the app and then open your NetHunter kex over here and then enter the password over here. You can see the password over here. So let's enter the password which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then hit connect over here. So you can see Kali Linux has been successfully installed. Now you can access all of the Kali Linux tools and you can do whatever you want to do here. Now if you want to stop this program from running, simply head back to Temox and then type in the command kex stop and then hit enter. So after doing that, it would successfully close your Kali Linux and you can see connection fade. So basically, this is how to install Kali Linux on your Android device. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.